Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Hyantan. Chief Minister Nipiro has announced that more than 100 crore rupees of loans will be provided to the entrepreneurs and educated unemployed youths from the banks. He said this during the inauguration program of Jumukadima district yesterday. Rio said the state government has collected 50 crore rupees from corporate social responsibility projects free of cost for various public amenities stating that Nagaland will open up for business opportunities and access to banks the chief minister said it is a challenge for the youth especially the educated unemployed to come into agri and allied sector and other micro small and medium enterprises he said the youth should become progressive farmers and use modern tools rio said the government is ready to help the youth to do business by extending free interests the Union Cabinet approved the computerization of Primary Agriculture Graded Societies PACS. Briefing media in New Delhi yesterday, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur said the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs CCEA has decided that 63,000 functional PACS will be computerized with an overall budget outlay of 2,516 crore rupees. He said the move will benefit 13 crore farmers. The PACS constitutes the lowest of the three-tier short-term cooperative created STCC in the country, comprising approximately 13 crore farmers as its members, which is crucial for the development of the rural economy. PACS accounts for 41 percent of the KCC Kisan credit card loans given by all entities in the country and 95 percent of these KCC loans through PACS are to the small and marginal farmers. The other two tiers, state cooperative banks and district central cooperative banks, have already been automated by NAPAD and brought on common banking software. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs also approved deregulation of the sale of domestically produced crude oil. The 47th GST Council meeting under the chairmanship of Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Nirmala Sitaraman in Chandika ended yesterday. The meeting was attended by Union Minister of State for Finance Pangaj Jautari, besides Finance Ministers of States and Union Territories and Senior Officers of the Ministry of Finance and States and UTs. The Finance Minister spoke about rate rationalization, the GST compensation to states, on corrections of invested duties and virtual digital assets. She said the Council directed the group of ministers on casino race course and online gaming to re-examine the issues in its terms of reference based on further inputs from states and submit its report within a short duration. In the meeting, the GST on LED lamps, lights and fixtures, the metal printed circuits board is raised from 12% to 18%. In case of solar water heater system, GST has been raised from 5 to 12%, whereas in works, contract for roads, bridges, railways, metro, affluent treatment plant, crematorium, etc., the tax has been raised by 12 to 18 percent. The GST rate on DETRA packaging has been raised from 12 to 18 percent, while on cut and polished diamonds are up from 0.25 percent to 1.5 percent. All rate changes recommended by the 47 the GST Council will be made effective from the 18th of July. 2022. Maharashtra Chief Minister Otaf Tagare yesterday dented his resignation after the Supreme Court refused to give a stay on the floor test that is to take place today. With the resignation of the Chief Minister, the Mahavikas Akati, which was lacking the numbers in the Legislative Assembly, has eventually collapsed. Addressing the people of the state through Facebook Live, Takere said he also resigns from the Legislative Council, of which he is a member. Taking a jibe at the rebels like Eknat Shinde and Kulap Rao Patil, Takere said that those who were doing 
menial jobs rose the ranks in the party and were made big. He said he accepts the judgment of the Supreme Court. Tagare also thanked NCB chief Sharad Pawar and Congress leader Sonia Gandhi. The school education department has permitted admission to class 11 science stream in government higher secondary schools at Kifre, Longleng and Beren from the current academic session 2022-23. Principal Director of School Education Tawas Lanke notified that as the time limit for online mode of admissions is over, these schools can accept applications through offline mode and admit students for the current session. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. Have a good day.